Hom metaki epi. Htai du ki de Minnesota makoche dechia trankad nina osni. Heyo heake iwo hedaki te. Naku taku tukte no tukte heake unkumpido. Hena naku naku de ampetu doka chaka is tranka doka cha. Hena no hena iwo hedaka wachindo. So I want to talk about uh, clothing. <clears throat> um, so I always start stuff at a very, uh, not super basic level, but um, I'll talk about some some clothing, um, both modern and uh, ehana heake, uh, old time clothing. And, um, but wanted to start off with this. So. Heake. Heake is one way to say clothing. Heake. Heake. So there, uh, this is from Tammy Dakota. So you see going from uh, left to right, we have Wichaumpi, Wapaha, Uzohe, Huska, Sanksanicha. Hampa kaish cha hampa. Mahed unzohe, one way to say underwear. Napinkpa, gloves or mittens. Tahu ochosie, a scarf and a ganumpi is a coat. Now, <coughs> uh, with the clothing, there are uh, more than a few ways to say some of the articles of clothing, but just going to give you some of the some of the basic ones. Okay, naku. Wo koyake. Wo koyake is another way to say clothing. It's the things that you attach. So, and again, uh, one thing with uh, uh, many indigenous people, our old time clothes, you can't even really call them old time clothes uh, because <coughs> some of those clothes we still wear or we have modern versions of. Or we wear them for special occasions, maybe ceremony or an honoring, honoring or wachipi, a powwow. Okay, so we're not just a static culture. We're not just people of the past. Uh, we Dakota people are still here. Naku Dakota unkiapido. We speak Dakota. Naku, we have uh, uh, our our ceremonies our songs, things like that. So we're not just, you know, uh, these people that lived in the 1800s and, and uh, don't exist anymore. And, <coughs> and, and I wanted to say something too, I guess, uh, before I really get started here with clothing. Um, I've talked about uh, this question in the past, are you Dakota? And if you are, you, you know, if you're a man, you say, how Damakota do? And if you're a wea, a woman, you say, ha, Damakota ye. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I, and I've heard, I'm saying this because I've heard some very old ones say this over time. That <coughs> if you have Dakota blood, if you are Dakota, you are Dakota. You're not. Like there are some people um, will say, oh, you mean you have Dakota ancestry? No, I am Dakota. Oh, yeah, but you also have German and maybe some Ojibwe or something like this. It's like, yeah, and I'm Dakota. You don't get to tell me that I'm something else. And that's funny that we get to think that we do that sometimes. Um, and also, you know, the color of our skin these days, you know, sometimes you might meet some of us and not know that we're Native, you know, especially like me because... You know, my forehead is moving up, but hey, I still got my looks. That's a joke. Okay. Um, but uh, I know, um, so like my oldest, my oldest has uh, red hair, uh, blue eyes, and white skin like his mom. 
and um, but he is Dakota. Hena no chingshi num we chabadu he hena Dakota ichah we chawayado. My boy, I have two boys and I raised them as Dakotas, and uh, I raised them with the language. Their mom uh, for the first ten years um, of their lives that their mom and I were together, their mom chose to speak English, but I spoke Dakota with them. And um, <clears throat> one time I went to visit uh, the Reverend uh, uh, Gary Cavender, and he was at the, um, is it the Tio Wakan, T.P. Wakan out in Shakopee? And he was preaching there and somebody said, hey, you should go visit Gary. He's, he's uh, uh, working down there. And I brought my son and he was about three, my firstborn. And I was talking to Gary in Dakota after service and, I, I pointed at my son. I said, hey, Dakota Iaokihido. And Gary looked at him, and he was speaking Dakota with him for a little bit. And he looked at me, and he was surprised because, again, my son has red hair, blue eyes, white skin. But this was very cool. <clears throat> Gary asked him, he said, Dani kota ha? And my son answered, how dama kota do? Just like, like nothing. But he... <laughs> Gary thought that was pretty cool, and, and he, he, he said, he said, watch that, that should, that should wo. answer like this, and he told my son, chinto da makota do. Chinto means, of course, certainly. So, chinto da makota do, of course I am Dakota. So, sometimes my son is now 19, and he's still They'll say that every once in a while, like if you talk to somebody and they'll say, oh, are you native? Are you Dakota? He said, Chinto, Damakota, Do. Anyway, <coughs> I just wanted to share that. So, but again, uh, our clothing, we have modern clothes and we still have uh, traditional clothing. So, like this. We cha umpi. We cha umpi. We cha umpi is a shirt. It literally, it's it, it can mean menswear or malewear. But this ehana we he which ehana we cha umpe hecha do, he ehana we cha umpe hecha do. That's an old time shirt. Okay, that's a man shirt. That's a kaha unkaha bina checha do. So they probably made that out of um, uh, uh, that's animal hide. I don't know if it's uh, deer or tatanka or something else, but Taha. Taha is one of the words, or is leather. Okay? So, we cha umpi. We cha umpi. We cha umpi. We cha umpi de skado. This shirt is white. We cha umpi de ri do. This shirt is brown. But, same, this ancient word, we cha umpi. Same thing. We cha umpi that we have today. Okay, now there are there are there there are other words like some communities might say ogde or ogle, but it's that's just uh, you know when we speak our different dialects, we are basically giving information to another speaker of where we come from. So mia tohan dakota dakota wo dakacha naku umaghena namach ucha. Oh, Minnesota, Dakota, Hecha, Nachicha there. So when I speak, when I'm speaking Dakota and the other is hearing me, when they hear me, they think, oh, he's probably a Minnesota, Dakota. That has happened. If I'm talking, if I am talking to a speaker, they say, oh, you're, you sound Minnesota, Dakota. Okay. So again, we cha umpi. We cha umpi. So shirt. And men can wear we cha or uh, women, <laughs> ladies can wear we cha umpi now. Okay, so sanksanicha, sanksanicha. Oop, whoops. There should be an S there. Sanksanicha. Just a second. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can uh, fix that. I'm using this newer technology, so. All right. Just a second. 
The technology is giving me some jib here. Whoops. Uh, please bear with me, my relatives. Now, why isn't that letting me? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> we, okay. Oh, no, not A. S. Huh. I, this is a little bit goofy. I'm a little bit goofy. All right, back to the program here in just a sec. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> Sanksanicha. Sanksanicha. Hey, Ehana Sanksanicha Hechado. That is an old time dress. Sanksanicha. Sanksanicha. Okay. Now, out west, uh, they might say Chuiganaka. But again, you know, mie wana de no waniatu wikchemana numpa sam numpa. Dakota, Dakota uspemichichiado. So I've been learning Dakota for about 22 years, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a second language learner. Um, I don't know everything about the language. Uh, you know, I'm still learning, but I am aware of uh, some of the different. I know those, I can. I could help you out with those. It depends on where you come from. All right. But over here, Minnesota Makocha Dechia Sanksanicha Unkapchado. We will say Sanksanicha for dress. Unzoche. <clears throat> Unzoche. Now, some people say Unzoche. Unzoche. And some people just say Unzoche. Unzoche. That means your butt coverings. Okay. Or what, what your butt goes into? Okay. All right. Unzoche. Pants. Or in some places, pantses. Okay. Unzoche. So, he ehana unzoche hechado. Those are old time pants. Right? Those are old time Dakota pants. Hena owayag washtedo. They are. Uh, very nice on the eyes, very easy on the eyes, beautiful, nice looking. Unzoge. Unzoge sapa. Black pants. Unzoge sapa. All right. Unzoge. Hunska. Hunska. Hunska are, are leggings, like the old time. So you'd have your unzoge, <coughs> and sometimes you'd have your hunska that will go below them, okay? And then there's room there, and I'll talk about for a man, the room, what's going to go there, okay? In, in the old days, but um, you'll still see uh, men wear them at powwows, or, um, but hunska, leggings. Hunska, today it's for socks. Hunska. Hunska. Now, just to peek into the future of what I'll, what I'll be talking about at some point. So, he hunskaki sha, that sock is red. Naku umag he sha, and the other is red. So, sha is red. I'll be talking about colors at some point. Maybe, maybe I'll have time, maybe towards 
maybe next week, but Sha is red. But when it's more than one thing and it's it's not alive, Honska Sha Sha. Honska Sha Sha. Red socks. Honska Sha Sha. Okay. Then we have this Mahed Umpi. Mahed Umpi. They wear it on the inside. Mahed Umpi. So for male and female. Mahed Umpi. Okay. Underwear. All right, and I don't really have any Ahana picture, any old time pictures of that. All right. Hampa. Hampa, that's shoe. Hampa. Now, <coughs> before uh, Washichus came here, all hampas looked like, I mean, these are really fancy hampas, uh, but all hampas were the, uh, the, uh, the, we made them ourselves. They were made out of animal hide. Um, so they were hampa. Now, one of the ways that we distinguish between uh, shoes now and, and moccasins, if you want to, and moccasin is an Ojibwe word. If you really want to say like old time moccasins or, you know, I'm making moccasins or I, you know, I'm making moccasins so I can dance or for ceremony or something, or I'm going to give them away or something. Hampik chika. Hampik chika. And I guess that I there should have a slash. So, you know, it's hampik chika. Hampik chika. Okay. And again, hampa, just generic word for shoe. Depends on the context. If I'm wearing uh, old time uh, moccasins, you know, and I say hampa mitawa uh, something, you know, I use the word hampa. People are going to know always talking about moccasins, but if it's every day and I'm out and about and I'm wearing regular shoes and I say something about my hampa, then they're going to know I'm talking about my regular shoes. So it depends on the context. But if you really want to specify just like old time moccasins, you'd say hampik chika. Uh, modern shoes, you're going to say cha hampa. Cha hampa. And what's interesting about that is um, uh, my first teacher said that uh, the old time Dakotas, they thought the shoes were, Washichus were marrying, uh, not marrying their shoes. Uh, Washichus were wearing shoes made out of wood because they creaked, because the leather creaked. So he was thinking uh, from talking to other Dakotas that, oh, I wonder if they were wearing like boots and they creaked. And the Dakotas were like, why are their shoes creaking? It was chahampa, chahungahapi. Chongahapi, they must be. Chongahapi, it seems like they're made out of wood. Okay? All right. So, <coughs> let's go back a little bit. I was talking about Hunska and what, what would go here. Chehenake. That's a, in English, a breech cloth. Chehenake. So that's an old Ehana Dakota we trashed a hechado. That's an old time Dakota Naku Naku Taijapsiche Yohanajido. He's holding a um, uh, lacrosse stick, I guess is what they call it, Taijapsiche, one of the words for um, the lacrosse stick. We trashed a he Taijapsiche Yohanajido. He is standing and holding, he's standing with a lacrosse stick. But Naku Chehenake. Sha un. Chanake sha un do. He is wearing a red breech cloth. Okay. A okihena. A okihena is a vest. That is a really sharp vest. I've seen many like that. And um, the more I see them, the more I want one. <laughs> so, uh, a okihena. A okihena. So that's a vest. Any any kind of vest. Okay. Whoops, I don't have the word there. Hmm. Wow. Let's take care of that real quick. Oh, for goodness sake.
technology. And now it's not letting me. Okay, there we go. I did not have time to uh, proof this tonight, so. All right. Hopefully this is the last error. All right. But a good time for review. All right. So clothing. Heyake. Wokoyake. Another way to say it, but typically people say heyake. Uh, <coughs> out west, they're going to say hayapi for clothing. One of the words, anyway. Wicha uh, umpi. Shirt. Wicha umpi. Sanksanicha. Sanksanicha. Unzoge. Unzoge. Hunska. Hunska. Mahed umpi. Mahed umpi. Hampa. Or hampikchika. Hampa. Or cha hampa. <clears throat> Chehnake. Chehnake. Aukihana. Aukihana. Ishtamaza. Ishtamaza. Metal eyes. Okay? Ishtamaza. Those are your glasses. And uh, I don't have a Hana picture because we didn't have those. Okay. In the past. Wapaha. Wapaha. A hat. Any any kind of hat. Uh, let's see. So that's a pretty sharp uh, Dakota man's coat. Akanumpi. 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 Same thing. Akan Ehana Akan Hey Ehana Akanumpi Hecha do. That's an old time Dakota coat. And here's just uh, any any coat today. Akanumpi. Now putting some of these words together in in a useful sentence. Okay. So how do we do that? So we're going to start off <clears throat> with um, any any article of clothing that you're wearing. Okay, any art article of clothing. You can say. Whatever it is, okay. Let's turn this a little bit this way. Moon, moon, moon means I am using it. But when it's talking about clothing, it's it's saying I am wearing. I am wearing. So, again, <coughs> so if I'm wearing a shirt. We cha umpi moon. We cha umpi moon do. I am wearing a shirt. Or um, wapaha moon do. I'm wearing a hat. Or unzohe moon do. Okay? So now, uh, if you're asking somebody what they're wearing, you don't typically say something like, I suppose you could in the con in the context of like your child's going to go outside and you say but that's not really not really what's asked it is asked like this okay so here's this word doket again how in what way 
Dokud. Dokud ni hadu we ha. Dokud ni hadu we ha. Dokud ni hadu we ha. How are you dressed? How now nihadui actually it literally means to um, to wrap yourself up. Okay. Dokud ni hadu we ha. Dokud ni hadu we ha. So one of the ways to answer okay so i could say uh, we cha umpi unzoge Huska kahampa mu. Dechid mi hidui do. I am wearing shoes, uh, socks, pants, and shirt. Dechid mi hidui do. That's how I'm dressed. Okay? That's how I'm dressed. Okay? <clears throat> so, in Dakota, when you're listing your articles of clothing, uh, before the last one, so that's the last one, you're gonna name these, and it's kind of like a comma, I guess, but, so again, <coughs> um, if I was, uh, you know, wearing hats, so I'll just say a bunch of clothes. So if somebody asked me, Chante, like I was talking, like my mom sometimes, you know, it's, it's really cold out and you're going outside. How are you dressed? Are you wearing your coat? Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing, you know, three shirts? So, so, dokud ni hadui ha. How are you dressed? Dokud ni hadui ha. So I could say, you know, wapaha, akanupi, wichaupi, unzohe, hunska, ishtamaza, napinkpa, ka, hampa. See, so I name all these things and I say ka. Ka is and. Sometimes it sounds just like this. Ka. Sometimes it sounds like ka. Sometimes it sounds like ga. It depends on the context. Okay. Dechid mi hadui do. That's how I'm dressed. This is how I'm dressed. So you'd say what you're wearing. This is how I'm dressed. Okay. So. I mean, you could just say that, <coughs> but you're answering the question here. Okay. All right. Um, I think some, a few articles of clothing that I missed. So we have. Tahu Ochosia. Tahu ochosia. That's a scarf. It's it the the neck warmer. It's probably what it's called. Tahu ochosia. And um, gloves or mittens. Napinkpa. Napinkpa. So tahu ochosie, a scarf, napinkpa, mittens. So, um, you know, like one thing, you could practice the language that, and I'll, I'll put these up on the site too. You could practice this when you get dressed, you know. But when you are putting an article of, of clothing on, or let's do this. I am getting dressed. Oh, how Tahanshi Valni? When you are getting dressed, there's a word. Mihidui. Same thing as this one. 
this is how I am dressed. Me hadui, I'm getting dressed, I'm dressing myself, or I got dressed. Me hadui do. You could say wana. Wana me hadui. Wana is now, right now. One of the ways we translate it. Wana me hadui. So whenever you get dressed, you could say out loud, wana me hadui do. And then uh, you could practice your Dakota and put on each article of clothing. Say each article of clothing and say, Wetch um. So whatever the article of clothing is, Akanum be wetch um do. I'm putting on coat. Wicha um be wetch um do. I'm putting on a shirt. Unzore wetch um do. Okay? So this mihidu do is to get dressed. This is to put on an article of clothing. It has another meaning, but we're just talking about clothes right now. Okay? Wedge um, wedge um, wedge um. You got to get that um in there. Wedge um, wedge um. Okay. Um. So let's see. Moon. I'm wearing an article of clothing. Me hidui. I'm getting dressed. <coughs> and. Whatever article of clothing, we chaun be wedge undo. I'm putting I'm putting it on. Okay. Now uh, getting getting undressed or taking off an article of clothing. We'll start with taking off an article of clothing. So whatever article of clothing it is, you know. Nina Tiokata cha akanum pi wahadusha do kikdedo. It's really hot in here, so I'm take off my coat. Okay? This is to to take off one's own. That is like an article of clothing. Okay? To take off your own. So you're actually referring to something that, that uh, you own. <clears throat> and you can do that here. I'm putting on my shirt, I'm putting on. Okay? But same thing here. So. Uh, um, um, taking off my socks. Uh, which ha umpi wahadushadoke. I'm taking off my shirt. Okay. And if you just want to say, I'm getting undressed, that's a little bit different. Then you would say, Now you see these words kind of look similar here now. They both have that ushadoke, ushadoke, or the dushadoke, dushadoke. Again, I'll talk about that at some point. And I know <clears throat> I talked about doing some uh, videos just about the grammar, which, which I will do. Um, and these are the type of things I want to talk about. Okay. But it's a, uh, our language is very sophisticated. It is highly complex. And uh, we can say many things uh, often with just one word. And in English, it would have to be uh, multiple words. And sometimes it goes the other way. But um, wa, so we cha, but something has to be here with wa hadushidoke. I'm taking off my uh, coat. Akano bi wa hadushidoke. I'm taking off my uh, <clears throat> uh, pants. And then this one, again, it's different because this is I'm getting undressed. I'm getting dressed, me hadui. I'm getting undressed, me hadushidoke. And then these two here, they have to have an article of clothing here. They have to have an article of clothing. Okay. <clears throat> so, all right. Uh, that's that. I'm going to take a picture of that.
and then put it on the site, but I will also post um, uh, a vocabulary list. So now just a, a few things um, because it, get, it gets pretty cold out, you know, and um, personally, I, I love the cold. Whoops, what's going on? Holy, that's a really, <laughs> just a second. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now for some, some basic weather terms. Okay. Um, oh, actually, just a, a few more things about clothing. When you're telling somebody to put something on, okay. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> so anybody that you're, um, like, like again, especially, uh, like I said, my mom, better put on your coat, you know, things like that. Um, or you're, you know, you have kids. I'm her kid, so she still uh, says those things. But um, whatever article of clothing, now I don't think I've talked about this yet. So if my son was going outside uh, with how the weather here is right now in Minnesota, <clears throat> and he wasn't wearing a coat, I would say, so put a coat on. Again, you have to have that sound. Or put a coat on, son. All right. I don't think I've talked about this. <clears throat> uh, that is a male speech. So when I say, that's put on a coat. If it was a woman saying, and, and that's to one person. <coughs> if it was a woman saying it, she would just say, Okay. And if I'm talking to more than one, like I have two boys, if I tell them both to put on a coat, My boys, put on, you, you more than one. That sounds funny in English. Hey, you guys, use. Um, so that's to one, that's to more than one. And when it comes to we, they would say be for more than one. All right, all, something popped up on my screen there. <clears throat> so. Or um, it's getting to be, uh, you know, over here they put out, I, I really love the cold weather here. I really love the hot weather. I love all Minnesota weather. Maybe it's because I'm Dakota. Maybe it's because I was raised here. I don't know. I love it all. So, but they give out advisory warnings. And people are surprised sometimes when they live in there. Like, can you believe how cold it is? Yeah, do you know where you live? So, all right. <clears throat> um, but on some days when it's really cold, this is how to tell somebody to, this is how to tell somebody to dress warmly or to bundle up or to lay, wear layers. Chosya. Chosya. So if my son was going out, and again, uh, when I work, you know, working at the university, I see some of these uh, these younger people, and they're wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and it's like, it's in the minus degrees. But, and they're thinking they probably came from their dorm, they're just going from one classroom to another, but they do wear shorts over here. Um, 
might be a shocker to some of you people outside the state, but <clears throat> anyway, chosyati hadui wo, dress warmly, bundle up, put layers on. Okay. Um, all right. So be any other things on clothing that I need to get into, uh, and I might get into to more stuff about clothing at some point. Um, oh, well, I should talk about uh, regalia at some point. But um, if it's cold, and now let's get, get into talking a little bit about weather. If it's cold inside, Tiosni. Tiosni. Tiosni do. Aganumpi wedge unkte do. It's cold inside. I'm going to put a coat on. Okay? Tiosni. Now, if it's hot inside, Tiokate. Tiokate do. Akanumpi wahidusha do kikte do. It's hot in here. I'm going to take my coat off. Okay. All right. So tiosni, it's cold inside. Tiokate, it's hot inside. All right. All right. So now weather. A um, couple ways to ask that. Whoops. Remember the he at the end is an oral question mark. He. Oral question mark. De ampetu doka chaha. De ampetu doka chaha. What is the condition of the day? In the loose translation, what's the weather like? What's the day like? But de ampetu doka chaha. I really haven't talked about this word yet. It can mean, uh, uh, based on the context, it can mean a uh, you know, uh, chaske doka chahe, what's wrong with chaske? It, in that context, it can be what's wrong, but it's like, what's up with, what's their condition, what's going on? Vampetu doka chahe, what's the weather like? What's the day like? What is the condition of the day? What's up with the day? Vampetu doka chahe, or you could just say, oh, let's see, I should put these up here. Tankad is outside, Timahed is inside. Tankad, Timahed. Tankad, Timahed. Tankad, outside, Timahed, inside. <clears throat> Tankad, so there's that word again. Tankad, outside. Tankad, Tankad, Dokachaha. What is the weather like outside? How is it outside? But this is the first, this is the one I I learned and I I based, I teach this one. And my philosophy as still somebody who's still learning the language, um, the more words in a sentence, the more you get to use Dakota, the more Dakota words you get to say, I think the more funner it is. Funner word? Okay. <clears throat> so, dampetu dokachaya. Tonka dokachaya. Dampetu dokachaya. What's the weather like? So, let's talk about some of those. So, osni, I already talked about osni and kate. Okate. <clears throat> I have to remember to erase my stuff because it kind of seems to want to. Stick around. All right. <coughs> so I'll write this up here again. De Ampetu Dokachaha. 
So, first and foremost, Osni, Osni, that's a complete sentence. It's cold. Now, based on the context, it's already set. What's the, what's the weather like? It's cold out. Osni. Now, this one, I've also heard Osni, Osni. I've heard Osni and Osni. Depends on the speaker. Okay, cold. Okate. Okate. It's hot. Okate. <clears throat> now, uh, here in uh, Minnesota, Makoche, we have, um, <laughs> we get the full spectrum. You know, uh, it's been, um, what is it, with wind chill the other day, it was uh, like negative 30 or something. And with the heat index, you know, of course, the temperature is one thing, and then the heat index is like the opposite of the um, uh, wind chill, but the heat index has been like 120 or whatever. <clears throat> um, that's, that's the weather here. That's the way that uh, the landscape is. So, all right, so cold, hot. Um, what else? Uh, Oh, that's a good one. Odidita. Odidita. Odidita is, um, <laughs> I was talking to one of my teachers, uh, Dakota language teachers, and I said, so, like, it, it means, it means muggy, it means hot, it means humid, and um, he asked me, uh, he said, I went outside for, I walked on campus, I literally like not even a block and came back for something. And it looked like I had gone for a swim. That's how humid it was. I was already all dripping and stuff. And he said, it is totally humid when you put that on the end, like it's really, really humid. <clears throat> and there he was in the AC. All right. Osni, cold, okate, hot, odidita, uh, humid. What else? So some, so those are those are just a few weather conditions <coughs> of the atmosphere. Now, actually, events. Maraju. Maraju. This has the ra, it's not a ha, it's not a h, that h with the mark. Maraju. Maraju is raining. It is raining. Maraju. Okay. Um, we tani. We tani do. It is sunny. The sun is showing itself, or the sun is apparent. The sun is in the sky. Okay. Um, here is that ha sound. Amachbia. Amachbia. Cloudy, overcast. Amachbia. So, oh, yeah, when somebody says dampetu dokachahe, you can also say de ampetu. And then any of these. Dampetu dokachahe, dampetu osni, dampetu okate, dampetu odidita, dampetu mahaju, dampetu witrai, dampetu amachbia, dampetu. Wa I'm gonna write it like this because I know it's a lot of second language learners. They say wa he he for snowing. Wa is the word for snow. Wa. 
he 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 is to fall. <coughs> One of the words. Wa he he. Wa he he. Wa he he. It is snowing. Okay. Dampe do wa he he. Wa he he. All right. Uh, let's see. I have a couple minutes left here. What are some? Oh, uh, thunder and lightning. Um, let's see. Those are very cool. Okay, now this first one. So this word here, Wakia. Wakia, uh, they live in the West. They're translated as uh, thunder beings or um, thunderbirds, but they really are the being, beings that uh, bring the rain, they bring the storms. Um, they are sacred. Uh, they are part of uh, an older creation, older than us humans. And um, <clears throat> Lots of stories about them. But in essence, Wakina, Thunderbirds, Duwampi, Duwan, not Duwan, like to sing Duwan, but Duwan, Duwan, Duwampi. Wakina, Duwampi. Duwan or Duwe means to, means to do this. Means to look, not see something, but just the act of looking <coughs> or gazing. Okay, so when we talk about lightning, somebody says, you know, and there's lightning, I say, the thunderbirds are opening their eyes. That is our word for lightning. Because, uh, again, the elements, the earth, the universe, it's alive. And it is a, they are relatives to us. They're all older relatives to us. <coughs> so that's our word for lightning, wakia duwampi, and that B means they're alive. This is talking about the Thunderbirds. Same thing here for uh, thunder, wakia hotumpi, wakia hotumpi, naku wakia hotumpi ish duwampi cha, uh, chansha shaka ish chandi makhatakya. So when I hear these things, uh, I go and I put uh, tobacco on the ground in, in honor of them and thanking them for bringing, bringing rain <clears throat> or making their voices heard because uh, sometimes there's a message, sometimes there are connections there that happen, but wakia hotumpi. Hotu means to make your voice sound, uh, mostly for animals. Okay. Wakia hotumpi. So wakia tuwampi, there's lightning. Wakia hotumpi, there is thunder. All right. And again, that's connected with uh, creation, beings of creation. Okay. All right. Uh, so that is it for this evening. And now, <clears throat> just bear with me. I'm going to switch over to um. Where did my cap go? Going to switch over to uh, Google Hangouts, and um, I gave my email, and uh, I'm going to see what happens here. Uh, I think if you do a search for, do I have it up? Just a second here. If you do a search for, for um, actually, if you I think if you do a search in Google Hangouts for this, if if you are interested and want to try out some of your Dakota, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'll be 
I'll be here. And um, we could actually speak Dakota with each other if you have some some questions. So, Hanak uh, Shado. Oh, whoops. Yeah. So it says Dakota Wohadakapo. If you do a search for that in Google Hangouts, <clears throat> um, and also my email is, whoops. Oh, the goofy LLC font. That's my email. But the Dakota Wohadakapo, if you do a search for that in Hangouts, uh, I have a chat room open, so um, you should be able to, to log in, I think. I'll, I'll experiment and see what happens here. All right, so, hey, hi, I picked it all. That's all I'll say. Doksha ake, wachiyanka picked it all, mitake. Okay. 